day everyone i'm miss sharon your english teacher trust you had an amazing day welcome to yet another interesting class now today our learning targets are i can describe different types of nouns and verbs interesting topics i can read tricky words i can ask and answer questions about key details in the story the dog and the ox now what is noun a noun is a naming word. It's simply a naming word. But to expand it, a noun is the name of a person, animal, place, or thing. So you could say a noun is simply a naming word. Now let's find the nouns in the following phases. Climb up the mountain. Mountain here is a noun because it's the name of a thing. Ride a yellow bike. Bike here is the noun because it's a name of a thing. My teacher claps. Teacher here is the noun because it's a name of a person. Then walks down the street. The street here is the noun because it's a name of a place. So the little girl smiles. Go there is the noun because it's a name of a person. It's pizza. Pizza here is the noun because it's a name of a thing. Though it's a food, but it's a name of a thing. The tiny baby cries. Baby here is the noun because it's a name of a person. Now there are two kinds of noun. We have the common nouns and the proper nouns. We just named common nouns. Proper nouns name a specific person, place or thing. Now, common noun are not specific because we have examples like um, country in common noun. But proper noun, it's Nigeria or Lagos because it's specific. It's specific so common nouns are not specific then proper nouns are specific such as Nigeria Benin City they are specific nouns now let's find the nouns and the following phases then we will decide if it's a common noun or a proper noun a tall boy Boy there is what? Is it a common noun? Of course, it is a common noun because it's not specific. It's not specific. Then John runs fast. Is it a common noun or a proper noun? It's a proper noun because it's specific. John, it's a person, specific person. But boy, it could be any boy. Yes, it could be any boy since it's boy. It could be any boy but John was specific so John runs fast the John there is a proper noun now dash whispers proper noun shop at Walmart Walmart is a proper noun a dog barks a dog there is a common noun. Chase reads a lot. Chase there is a proper noun because it's so specific. Tricky word baseball. We are going to play a fun game of tricky word baseball. There will be two teams. Each member of the team will take turns reading tricky words. If that person gets the word correct, the team gets a point. The team that has the most tally marks at the end of the game will win. I will set the timer for 10 minutes. Now the words are A, I, No, So, Some. From, word, where, one, do, who, said, all, of, have, are.
Once, two, the, two, where, says, which, be, why, here, was, there, when, he, we, your, what, they, me, you, because, they are, me, she, bye. Now do your best to learn the spellings of this word because when we come to class, we are going to divide the class into two and play the baseball tricky word game. The next is verb. What is verb? Verb is an action word or a doing word. Then a verb is an action word. Actions are things you can do like run, jump, and read. Several lessons ago, we talked about two kinds of verb. We have the present tense verb, the present tense verb, and the past tense verb. Now, the present tense verb is an action that is happening right now in the present. Why the past tense verb is an action that has happened already in the past? Now, today I jump up and down. Is it a present or a past tense verb? Yesterday I jumped up and down. Is it a present or a past tense verb? Remember, present tense verb is a verb that hap- it's happening right now. Why the past tense verb is a verb that has happened before. Something that has happened in the past. Something that has happened already. Remember, if you're trying to explain what it is, remember present and past to help you understand what present tense verb and past tense verb is. Now, the answer of today, I jump up and down is present. Why the answer to yesterday, I jumped up and down is past. The same thing goes with last night, I painted a picture. Last night, I painted a picture. We all know that it's past tense. Why? Today, I paint a fence with my brother, which is a present tense. Now, I will say a sentence. You identify the verb and differentiate if it is present tense or past tense. I use my pencil right now. Is it present or past tense verb? It's present tense verb. Yes. Then yesterday I used my crayon. Is it present tense or past tense verb? It's past tense verb. Last week I visited my grandmother. Is it present or past tense verb? It's past tense verb. Now, right now, I skip down the hall. Is it present tense verb or past tense verb? It's present tense verb. I stopped at the red light yesterday. Is it present tense verb or past tense verb? Past tense verb. Yes, I already finished my milk. Is it present tense verb or past tense verb? It's past tense verb. Now I want us to read the dog and the ox. Today's story features a type of animal called the ox. An ox is a type of animal that looks similar to a cow and is often found on farms. It may be used to do hard work like pulling and carrying heavy things. Let's review our spellings. Remember we did the L sound, the short O sound, and the long O sound, with the OI sound and the L sound. Now, let's review our spellings. We have the L sound, as in straw, and so. We have the O sound, as in food. Food. Now let's review our vocabulary. Straw, 
loved. We will read to find out what happened one day when the ox comes back to the barn after a long day's work looking for his food. Let's read the ox and the We will read to find out what happens one day when the ox comes back to the barn after a long day's work looking for his food. Now open your Fables Unit 3 reader, page 48, The Dog and the Ox. Once a dog took a nap on a pail of straw in a box, but the straw in the box was not a bed. When the ox came home, he saw the straw in his food box, but he could not get the straw because the dog was on top of it. What happened next? The dog said, Could you sleep up in the loaf? I would like to munch the straw, munch on. Dog said, Could you sleep? And the dog said, to the and the dog said to the ox, "Could you sleep on the loaf? I would like to munch it on the straw in my food box." The dog woke up, but he would not get off the straw. He was mad that the ox woke him up. At last, a man came in and saw the dog on the straw. "Bad dog," said the man. You did not need that straw, but you would not let the ox have it. Shame on you. Get up. Now I want you to read this part and answer these questions. Why can't the ox eat the straw? Why do you think the dog does not let the ox have the straw? What happens when the man sees the dog? It means when he says the dog did not need the straw. Where else might the dog have gone to sleep? Look at the picture of the page 53. How do you think the dog feels when the man scolds him and calls him a bad dog? Why? What do you think happened next? Do you think the dog will jump in the ox food box for a nap in the future? Why or why not? Now I want you to answer questions from your worksheet 16.1 and 16.2 and make sure you answer them correctly. This is the end of our class. I hope you had a nice time with me. Till we see you again, have an amazing day. Bye.